Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In the driving test, the examiner said for you to take the second road on the left. So from a major road into a minor road, the examiner said for you to go second road on the left. When are you going to signal? That's number one. At the end of the road, the examiner said for you to go left or right. What should you be thinking? Many learners, they fail the test for wrong signaling when they are approaching a junction, which is second on the left. Also at the end, what should you be thinking? Many learners, they're not thinking the things they should be thinking when they are approaching an end of the road. What do you have at the end of the road? What kind of things should you be thinking? Do you have a giveaway line? Do you have a stop line? Is that an open junction? Is that a closed junction? So these are the things I'm going to cover in this video. Hopefully it will help you to understand so that when you go to the test, you don't fail the driving test because many learners, they do fail on those little things in the driving test. Remember, many learners, they don't fail because they can't drive the car. They can drive, but they just fail on little things becomes a serious fault or a danger fault. Hopefully, this video will help you to understand those little things so that you don't fail your driving test. Let's start the lesson. So imagine this is your car, that's the main road. The examiner said for you to take the second road on the left. Remember, second road on the left. This is first, so not this one, it's this one. This is the one the examiner wants you to take. Now, because it's second on the left, it's important when you signal. Because if you signal before this one, and then you go into this one, you will fail your test for that. So make sure you know when to signal. When do you signal? You signal here. Now, first of all, you need to recognize where the roads are. Many learners, one of the things they say is that, well, I didn't recognize where the road is, and this is why I couldn't signal correctly, is because I didn't recognize where the road is. Now, so when you are turning left or right, and it could be the next road on the left or second on the left, how do you recognize? The way you recognize is by looking for the clues. So when you are driving, you're here, look for the clues where the roads are. And what are the clues? The clues are the road markings, that's how you would know where the road is. Cars going in, cars coming out. Also, gap in the building. So if there's buildings here, buildings there, there would be a gap here on top of the building, which means you know there could be a road. So these are the clues you look for. Road markings, cars going in, cars coming out, and gap in the buildings. On top of the buildings, look on the top, you would see there is a gap in the building, and that's how you know what the road is. So that's how we recognize what the road is. Secondly, make sure you recognize what the first road is because you want to signal after this one, okay? So you don't signal here. If you do by mistake and you recognize the road, take the signal off and then here put it back on again to go for this one, okay? Many learners, they fail for signaling here and then they go in there. Make sure don't signal here, signal here. So look at the mirrors, don't signal yet, put the signal on here, then go in. That's number one. Number two, when you enter many learners, the speed is too high. From here, you can't actually see anything. There could be a park car here, there could be somebody coming. And you can't see from here because of the block, because of the buildings here probably, and your view is restricted. You can't see anything. So from here, because you can't see if there's a park car here, there could be somebody crossing the road, or it could be a car coming, slow the car down here, and the slow will depend on how sharp the road is. If you think it's quite sharp and it's actually blind, you can't see anything, slow the car right down here, maybe under 10, go to first gear and then go in. So if you think the junction is very restricted, you can't see anything and it's quite sharp, reduce your speed maybe under 10 around here, go to first gear before you enter and then go with the clutch control nicely. So when you enter, if there's a parked car here and there's a car coming, you could just stop here and then carry on. If the speed is too high, what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up going either hitting the parked car or you're gonna stop suddenly and there could be a car coming behind you. Also, there could be a car coming and you don't wanna go front of them. Imagine the examiner said for you to go second road on the left. So we are going second on the left. Okay, now as you can see here, this is the first and make sure you don't signal before this road. Many learners, they make this mistake of signaling too early. So if the examiner said second on the left 
and if you see the first don't signal before that okay if you do soon as you recognize take the signal off if you don't you will fail so keep looking for the clues and look where your road is so we keep looking for the clues the clues are gap in the building cars going in cars coming out so what can you see now we could see a red car coming out from that road so we know this is where we want to go in this is the road okay top and left mirror we put the signal on make sure the position is good keep your speed down the road that we want to go in you can't see clearly so go slowly as you enter what can you see there is a car coming and there's a part car on your left what if you came fast in this road what would have happened so make sure the road that you're going in if you can't see clearly go slowly so that if there is a problem you could deal with that next thing we want to talk about at the end of the road the examiner said go left or go right so when you're approaching end what should you be thinking what kind of thing should you be thinking when you are coming up to the end firstly you need to know where the end is so what kind of clues are you looking for to know where the end is the way you know is by at the end there would be buildings here and you know the road is not going ahead so that's how you know the end there could be fence here there could be buildings here and you know the road is not going ahead so from here try to recognize that's the end secondly ask the question is this junction open or is it closed because if it's closed which means you can't see who's coming from there who's coming from there probably because there's buildings here and there's buildings here because of those buildings you can't see anything so on those kind of junction how do you approach you approach in a way maybe you have to stop and then see if it's safe and then go if it's open then that means there is no house here there is no house and you could see who's coming and you could make a decision from here whether to stop or go if it's closed like i said you can't see approach in a way maybe to stop and when you reach this point then you could decide if there's nobody coming or not and you carry on going the other thing about end of the road is to see does it have giveaway line or stop line so if it's a giveaway line and there's nobody coming you could carry on going and if it's a stop line one solid white line with a stop sign what does that mean it means you have to stop by law so make sure you recognize that does it have a giveaway line or does it have a stop line if it's a giveaway line and there's nobody coming you don't have to stop if it's a stop line no choice you stop first and then see if it's safe and then you go now here at the end of the road the examiner said for you to go left so at the end examiner said for you to go left now how do you know this is the end coming up we know because we could see the road is not going ahead why because we could see buildings on the other side so we know that's the end secondly we need to ask is that an open junction or closed because according to that we have to prepare ourselves so we know this is closed why because we could see both sides are blocked by buildings which means we can't see who's coming from the left or from the right so what is our intention we have to approach in a way so that we could stop if we have to because you can't see we have to go to the line in a way so that we are ready to stop if there is someone coming so we looked at the top and left mirror we put the signal on left and then check our position and remember we need to approach in a way so that if we need to stop we'll have to stop remember this is a closed junction which means we can't see so we can't approach in a way for us to go because we can't see anything so we go to the line and then we check and if there's no one coming we carry on going so we go to the line and we keep looking and soon as we know it's clear now we know there's no one coming we carry on going if there was somebody coming or we couldn't see we would stop and then see and then we would have gone now here in this road the examiner said again at the end of the road go left so the examiner said turn left at the end now in this road what can you see can you see a stop sign with a stop line what does that mean it means you'll have to stop that is the law when you see a stop sign with a stop line what does that mean it means we'll have to stop regardless we have no choice now many learners they do miss that when they go to the end they do miss the stop sign with a stop line and they don't stop fully and they fail the test for that so when you see a stop sign with a stop line what do you do you stop fully full stop we looked at the mirrors put the signal on you go to the line 
and then you stop fully. Then you check if it's safe and then you go. So what do we do here? We stopped and then we check there's no one coming and then we go. So make sure if it's a stop sign with a stop line, you'll have to stop. You have no choice. That's the law. Then you check if it's safe and then you go. Many learners, like I said, they do fail for not recognizing the stop line with a stop sign and they don't stop fully and they do fail with the test for that. If you need extra help on learning to drive and to pass a driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course, which gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. I will leave a link on the description below for you to have a look. Have a look and see. If you like it, you could always join the course. Okay, that's it for this video. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up. And please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.